But we are heading into the weekend, and as always, every Friday at 6, our Walt Grayson has a story for us as he focuses on Mississippi. Now, we're traveling about as far south as you can go in Mississippi and still be on dry land. And Walt, I am assuming we're going beyond Gulfport and Biloxi. Yes, that's exactly right. We're going to the land where Gulf Coast artist Walter Anderson found so much inspiration. How about let's take a trip out to Horn Island. Horn Island is a part of the Gulf Islands National Seashore, so it, along with several other barrier islands, are a national park. It's also a national wilderness area. There's nothing man-made on Horn Island, except a ranger cabin somewhere near the middle, and there's not always a ranger there. Anything else you might need, you have to bring it with you. And, of course, take it back when you leave. Horn Island is several miles long, but less than a mile wide at its widest point. And to the north is the Mississippi Sound. And the water and the beaches there look about like they do on the Gulf Coast. But to the south is the Gulf of Mexico. And the water and beaches there look more like what you're used to in Florida. Sugar white sand and turquoise water. Well, it's like that on a sunny day. Now, when a storm is brewing, the sea turns leaden gray. And the waves are angry, and it's a powerful place just to stand and watch. There's a symmetry to a lot of nature on Horn Island, so I can see where Walter Anderson gets the idea for the repeated rhythms and patterns that we see in so much of his work. And the pine trees on Horn really do look like the ones Anderson renders in his watercolors. I thought they were caricatures until I saw the real pines, but that's what they look like. Sort of like spindly pines of Rome in Italy. Artists still come out to Horn Island for inspiration, alone sometimes, as members of groups a lot. They may stay overnight or a week or more. The day breaks silently with a whisper on the breeze and uncertainty in the air. It may be gray or it may be sunny, but each kind of weather brings out its own personality and traits on the island. At nighttime, you make of it what you want, a luau, a ritual dance around the fire, an unveiling of the day's artistic work. Even firing pottery at night takes on a special flavor on Horn Island. Now, I'll admit, I'm not that much of an outdoorsman. I mean, my idea of roughing it's when the air conditioner in the hotel room keeps waking me up when it cycles on and off. But if I were an artist, especially one who specialized in capturing nature and realizing it in my work, I'd be on Horn Island tonight. Well, you can go to uh, Horn Island, Google it, uh, or the Gulf Islands National Seashore, get more information about going out to Horn Island. But it really is just you and nature and whatever you brought in your backpack when you go out there. And